Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the Word. I'm Barry Bryson. We're studying the Gospel of Matthew, and we are in chapter 21 today. We're going to read verses 1 through 11, which is Matthew's account of the triumphal entry, an event that's described in, in all the Gospels. Let's just begin reading with verse 1. When they had approached Jerusalem and had come to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied there and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says something to you, you shall say, The Lord has need of them, and immediately he will send them. Now this took place that what was spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled, saying, and this is in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming, gentle, and mounted upon a donkey, even upon a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. And Jesus went and did just as, and his disciples, excuse me, went and did just as Jesus had directed, and brought the donkey and colt, and laid on them their garments on which he sat. Most of the multitude spread their garments in the road, Others were cutting branches from the trees and spreading them in the road. And the multitudes going before him, those who followed, were crying out, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he had entered the city of Jerusalem, all the city was stirred, saying, Who is this? And the multitudes were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Okay, every uh, detail is uh, important and interesting and necessary. Let's notice that Jesus is still, as he has throughout his public ministry, managing that ministry. And he manages his entrance into Jerusalem. It is staged to fulfill prophecy so that he will do things according to the book. And so he, he needs to enter uh, riding a donkey's colt. Now, that was a very well-known prophecy from Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. And it's important. It's not easy to do. In the first place, a donkey's colt has not been ridden by anybody yet. And so, unless you really know how to gentle that animal or have some miraculous ability, you know, uh, apart from being, you know, using overwhelming strength and power, um, um, you're not going to be able to do that. And the mother's there too. And the mother, of course, is not going to let you do violence to her cult. So the only way to do this is to have some miraculous powers of being gentle. In fact, that's part of the prophecy, isn't it? Behold, your king is coming to you gentle and mounted upon a donkey. And so... Jesus makes sure that he enters the city of Jerusalem at this key moment in his ministry by fulfilling exactly the prophecy, every detail of the prophecy as it was given. And so they, they go and get, get that, that donkey for him, and he comes in that way. And the disciples um, uh, um, put their, their outer garments uh, on the colt, and, and, and he sat on them. And so that would have been something to have seen. That, that poor colt would have been covered probably to the ground. And Jesus' feet would probably have been very near the ground as he was riding on this donkey's colt. Um, and so then the people saw that and started laying their garments in the road and cutting down palm fronds and laying them in the road because they were treating Jesus as if he were a king. And of course he is. And then what they were crying out is important too. Hosanna means save us now. It does not. It doesn't mean praise. We use that word to mean praise. We say, well, you know, he brought his hosannas. I mean, he brought he brought his praise, or or I offered up my hosannas. I gave them a lot of compliments. That word means save us now, and it's in the imperative. Save us now. We want you to act now before the week's out. You fix this. And, of course, Jesus is going to oblige, but not in the way they expect. And then they call him the son of David. That means they believe him to be the Messiah. And then they say, blessed is he 
who comes in the name of the Lord, uh, Hosanna. Um, and th they are quoting there Psalm 118, verse 26, and then they say, Hosanna in the highest. And to say in the highest is associating him with Yahweh himself, as being connected to Yahweh himself. In calling upon God, you do this through this man, you save us now. Uh, and so he enters the city in that way. And yet, they're still identifying Jesus not as the Messiah. Who is this? They didn't say he's the Messiah. They say he's Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. That's like saying, you know, from from Cerrito in Wayne County, West Virginia, which is, you know, my home church. Um, well, where is that? What does that mean? Um it, it, it is an altogether astonishing, you know, set of events, and and um, Jesus is not through uh, this initial um, entrance into Jerusalem because when we're together next time, he's going to clear the temple of the money changers. We'll talk about that then. Thank you so much for joining me for another five good minutes, and we'll see you next time.